Welcome to the Queen City of South, Cebu City. But here we say, maayong pag-abot din hi sa lungsod sa Sugbo. But here in Cebu, we don't say good morning. We say, maayong buntag. Can you say it? Maayong buntag. Awesome. Let me introduce myself. I am Erica Lopez de Gracia, but you can call me Ika. I am your tour guide for today's trip. And together with me is our most handsome, best captain, Captain Lucas. Can you say hi to our Captain Lucas? Hi, Captain Lucas. Hi, Captain Lucas. Can you say hello to our Captain Lucas? Hello, Captain Lucas. Awesome. And Captain Lucas will take us to our destination safely. And we are from Infinity Travel Agency. So... We are very, very much happy and honored that we will serve you for today's trip. But before anything else, I will inform you all to our rules and regulations. First one, please don't leave your things unattended like your cell phones, gadgets, wallets, and other valuable things. Please bring it with you at all times. Are we clear? Yes. Awesome. Good. Please do have a battle system. It means that you need someone to go with you wherever you go. It is for our own safety. And speaking of safety, please fasten your seatbelt. Third rule. I have with me a red flag, which means that when I raise it up, you only have 20 minutes to roam around the place. Where you can take pictures, talk to locals, and... Buy souvenirs if you want to. I also have with me a whistle, which means that when I whistle once, it means that you only have 10 minutes left to roam around the place. And when I whistle twice, it means that you need to go back to the best immediately and prepare for our next trip. Fourth, we should have all the same time, so we should fix our own time. In my clock, it is already 10 o'clock in the morning. Finish? Finish, Miss Ika. Perfect. Fifth and the last one. Please dispose your garbage properly. Remember the word clay go. It means that clean as you go. Remember the saying, Take nothing but picture, leave nothing but footprints, and kill nothing but time. Most an important part. Please, tourists, don't forget to wear your smile. Like this. Can I see your smile? Oh, perfect. And genuine smile. You are all beautiful. Before I forget, I have with me a medicine kit. So anyone who aren't feeling good, don't hesitate to approach me. Are we all clear, tourists? Yes. Wonderful. But before that, let me do a head counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 20. Perfect. We are complete. Time check. It's 10 o'clock in the morning and the weather is perfectly fine to tour over the town. While waiting for the bus to arrive in our first destination, I would like to share some of the most important facts and trivia here in Cebu. Uh, Buhay! Welcome to Cebu! Cebu? It's the top tourist destinations in the Philippines and known as the Queen City of the South. Cebu is the oldest city in the Philippines and it is located in the central Visayas, which is in Region 7 and it is the second city in the Philippines. Lastly, the province of Cebu is composed of 44 municipalities, 6 cities and 1,066 barangays. The city is considered as the birthplace of Christianity in the Far East. Cebu has captured the attention of tourists from all over the world because of its unique, man-made, and natural attractions. 
The majority of locals speak Bisaya or Cebuano, but they can also communicate in English and Tagalog. The people in Cebu are friendly and helpful, so it is easier for the tourists or the visitors to ask for directions and also recommendations. Okay, tourists, in a few minutes, we are arriving in our first destination. Our first destination will be the Temple of Baya. The second one is the Samala Church. And the last one, but not the least, is the Magellan's Cross. We all excited? Me too. Wonderful. Yes, Captain? Oh, tourists, we are now arrived in our first destination. So freshen up! Welcome to the Temple of Leia. Our first destination will be the Temple of Leia. Temple of Leia is known as the Cebu's version of India's Taj Mahal. Temple of Leia has been attracting for a little tourist for its great inspired architectural shrine. Unlike the India's Taj Mahal, the Temple of Leia serves as the memories and treasure of the late Leia Albeno Adarna, the grandmother of Filipina actress. Ellen Adarna. Her husband, named Jodorico Soriano Adarna, has reportedly spent 80 million pesos to put up this temple for his late wife. The Temple of Leia is a symbol of his undying love for his wife. Our next destination is Simala Church. Simala Church is a prestigious castle-like structure that gathered millions of attention of the tourists to travel. It is the home of the Ministry of the Holy Eucharist. People from all over the world visit here to witness the traditions and religious gatherings here in Simala Church. Our last destination will be the Magellan's Cross. Magellan's Cross Within the walking distance from Basilica Minor del Santo Nino, you can find the famous Magellan's Cross. While Filipino considered Ferdinand Magellan as a villain in Philippine history, this landmark considered as one of the most important historical markers here in Cebu. The Cross of Magellan served as a reminder of the birth of Christianity here in Philippines. Sad to say, it must be the end of our tour. Are there any questions, clarifications, suggestions? Just let me know, okay? I hope to see you soon in your future trip. I hope everyone enjoy and learn a lot in our trip. In behalf of Infinity Travel Tour, Tours, I would like to thank you all for choosing us to be part of your unforgettable journey. Tours, enjoy the rest of the day here in Cebu and have a safe trip back home.